Hi everybody, welcome back to Quarantine Cooking with Carolyn. Today I'm going to show you how to make scalloped potatoes and ham in your crock pot. Now if you've been following my videos, you'll remember that on Easter I made a ham. And I even talked about at that time what you can do with the leftovers. This is one of those things that you can do with the, the leftovers. And it is really yummy and really delicious. So let's get started, shall we? To, get, to make this recipe, what you need is four or five potatoes peeled and sliced. Now my potatoes were really big, so I'm only doing three. You can see this is a monstrous potato. So I think I'll be fine with three large. You need three tablespoons of flour, half a cup of onion, salt, pepper, your ham, of course, about a pound, diced up, this is a great thing to do, by the way, with those funny little pieces that aren't good for sandwiches. They're too thick, too fat, the ends, that, that just chop them up and that's a great application for this. Some nutmeg, one can of cream of chicken soup or cream of mushroom or cream of celery, whatever you have on hand is fine, and a quarter of a cup of water. So let's get started. So your first step is to take the potatoes and layer them in the bottom of the crock pot. Now you're only gonna take half the potatoes, and as you can see, I've already started this step. So half the potatoes, layer them on the bottom of the crock. Then take half of your flour and sprinkle that over. And this is what I meant when I said in one of the other videos, with cooking, you can be a little more loosey-goosey. This is exactly what I meant. Um, salt pepper, a couple of little good turns or a good pinch, and then ha half the ham. See, and that flour is in there to help things thicken up. There we go, that looks pretty good. And half the onion. Then you're gonna do the same thing all over again. You're gonna take the remaining potatoes and you're gonna layer it in there. And I just kind of, I kind of shingle them a little bit. It looks prettier. But the truth of the matter is, as long as it all gets in there, it doesn't have to be pretty. But it is nicer. So there we go. Got all the potatoes in there. And then we take the rest of the flour. and a little more salt and pepper. And I think I would go a little easy on the salt just because the ham tends to be salty. So I wouldn't go too crazy with the salt on this recipe personally. Uh, the remaining onion and the remaining ham. all that over here. Now, you're going to take your cream of whatever soup you're using, whether it's mushroom or chicken or celery, it doesn't really matter, and you're going to add it in to the quarter cup of water. Just like that. Okay. And then you're going to stir it up. Let me see if I this little whisk might work a little better, I think. Yeah. And you're just going to stir that up just like that, just to get it kind of smooth, a little bit smooth, and a little more liquidy so that it'll, it'll spread and go down into the, all the potatoes. So then pour this on top. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of spread it out a little bit. There we go. And I didn't mention it, but of course you want to line your crock, right? Because that's going to save you a ton of work at the end of the day. 
And then a pinch of nutmeg on top. I love the smell of nutmeg. It smells so good. Yum. I have now covered this and plugged it in. And I'm going to cook this on low for seven to nine hours. Now, you just want to make sure that the potatoes are really good and tender. That's the real key with this recipe. You also want to start this one or think about starting this one earlier in the day. Since we've been in quarantine, sometimes I don't start my crock pot recipes until noon, one, even two o'clock in the afternoon. So this one needs a good low, slow cook. So start it a little early and let it go. And this should um, give you about six servings out, out of this recipe. So it's a good hearty meal and it'll feed a family. Anyways, give this a try guys. And I know you've got this.